Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kid That Joy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to review Six Summers of Tash and Leopold by Danielle Binks. This is a contemporary story that straddles that line between upper middle fiction and younger YA fiction. It would be perfect for anyone in that transitional category from primary school to secondary school. That's mostly because the characters are transitioning from year six to year seven and so the story really fits beautifully into that age bracket. It's a fairly hard-hitting contemporary story as well but there are some incredible moments in the book. So. I do want to read you part of the synopsis just to give you a sense of the story and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. Ali, Tash and Leopold are neighbours who used to be best friends but aren't anymore for reasons that Leo doesn't entirely understand. But now it's the last week of year six and Tash is standing in Leo's front yard with a misdelivered letter and a favour to ask. It's a request that will set off a chain of events in Noble Park, their little suburb that is changing and fast. And so this is the story of two characters who grew up as friends. They're, they're neighbours and they spent most of their childhood as best friends. We find out throughout the course of the story that Tash has been dealing and fighting leukaemia for a significant portion of her life. Part of that is the reason for the breakdown in their friendship but Leo doesn't really understand that because it all happened when he was still quite young so he's still he doesn't understand why Tash kind of pulled away from a lot of her friends and there is a discussion later in the book about why that happened but they are nearing the end of grade six and Tash wants Leo to deliver this letter to the woman who lives down the street in a, in one of the local court and all their life they've believed that she's a witch and they're terrified of her because they never see her out of her house or out of her property and they used to make a game out of seeing if they could even just you know go up to her front gate as they were kids and so the summer between year six and year seven is a time where Leo is trying to figure out what it is that Tash wants. She actually spends most of the summer away and Leo is due to start high school. He has a scholarship to a prestigious high school in the city which he was encouraged to try out for by his mum. As he's starting this school we're finding out quite a few things about his family. He's living with his mum and his uncle. We find out that Leo's dad has a gambling addiction and he is currently in Western Australia with his family trying to recover and trying to develop coping strategies for that so he can come home. But obviously this has a significant impact on Leo. And when he starts school, he really struggles and he ends up with so much anxiety that he can't attend school. And so he has to do school online. And this causes friction within his family because his mum doesn't understand why he can't just go to school. We also find out that Tash is also being homeschooled and Leo is worried that her cancer is back. And as Leo and Tash begin to reconnect, they also find out more about the woman who lives down the street. And they find out that she lives with agoraphobia. Her son died previously and so that's mentioned and so that is mentioned on page. There is also a building development that is happening and the builders are trying to force this woman out of her home and that has huge ramifications for their little local community. I will caution along with everything else that's mentioned in terms of addiction and children dealing with cancer and anxiety there is also the death of an animal in this story so just be prepared for that but it is so beautifully written and so wonderfully told you may poten you may potentially need some tissues particularly towards the end but it is very much a coming of age story as these two characters are you know trying to find where they fit in their new world they're trying to deal with things that are stressful and huge like they're huge things that they're trying to deal with and they're only young the whole story is also told from Leo's perspective and it is about him trying to learn what it is and how it is that he can stand up for himself whether it's talking about the fact that he just he can't go back to this school it's not for him whether it's about confronting his dad about his feelings and you know the fact that his dad isn't there during a really important time in his life or whether it's standing up for his friendship with Tash which there's a really beautiful scene at the end of the book about that. It's just a book that you'll read and you'll walk away from it and you'll have plenty of thoughts still running in your head and you'll be thinking about it for days afterwards. So thank you very much to the publisher Hachette for sending me the review copy. I had a really wonderful time reading this book for as hard hitting as it was. It is so beautifully told and just a really great, great Australian story for younger readers. In the description below I will leave links for where you can find out more information about the book and the author. If you haven't read any of Danielle Bing's books I highly recommend all of them they're they're really fantastic. If you'd like to let me know that you're here but you don't leave a comment feel free to leave any kind of emoji that represents summer to you otherwise I hope that wherever you're on the world you're staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.